So my area of specialty is kind of unusual. It's uh, high altitude physiology. Basically, it's working out what's happening in you if you climb mountains like Everest and, and uh, Kilimanjaro and those kind of extreme conditions where you've got low oxygen and your body's under extreme stress and you know you can die very very quickly. That kind of information that we get from people from very very expensive monitoring devices is what helps us tune their outcomes whether it's to help them win a gold medal, climb Everest, or even get through surgery perhaps that they otherwise wouldn't be able to uh, survive. And it was really in 2012 when I discovered that there was a big change happening in the market for biosensor technology. A lot of the things that we used to stick on people that cost hundreds of thousands of dollars were now costing hundreds of dollars and, and starting to cost tens of dollars, even less. They were becoming more high fidelity, um, the, the, the devices are developing capabilities that are even hard to find if, unless you're in intensive care being monitored. And these kinds of devices are now becoming commoditized. We're seeing them appear in the health and fitness industry, not just in elite sport. We're seeing people uh, carrying the kinds of monitoring capabilities in their pockets on their iPhones uh, that they otherwise would have to be in intensive care or an emergency ward or in one of our research projects up uh, high up on a mountain. So could we apply the kind of principles that we've used in elite sport and in extreme conditions medicine with the kind of biosensor technology that, we've, that used to cost hundreds of thousands of dollars and now costing far, far less? We have this incredible explosion of complex chronic disease crushing our economies, costing enormous amounts of pain and suffering, obviously, but payers can't afford it, governments can't afford it, and it's a growing issue. Complex chronic disease accounts for about a quarter of a trillion dollars worth of costs in terms of hospital admissions in the US. It's about a quarter of that in the UK. People with congestive heart failure, chronic obstructive airways disease, complex diabetes, falls risk. Those represent 75% of the avoidable hospital costs in the Western world and the burden on healthcare systems, as well as the individuals and their families, is growing and growing. And so we really have to do something about it. It is one of the grand challenges in our society today, in our economy. Um, our analytics engine is simply the, as it were, the artificial brain emulating what's going on in, the, in doctors' heads if they were looking at these data 24-7. Um, that's the bit that we do. And so we really will be the first FDA approved and CE marked system in the world that is able to move from simple line crossing with a sensor into a personalized rule set for an individual from a number of data streams, not only from biosensors, but also the data streams that we get from human observational data, feeding into a personalized model that adapts to an individual that is predictive of their likelihood to be admitted into hospital. I think the revolution in biosensor technology is, is incredible, but really what we feel is that making sense of those sensors is the ultimate goal.